Hello everybody, it's Gina Range here. Uh, I hope that you can hear me. I've got a microphone on, um, so if you are listening, just buzz and let me know that this is actually working. So, uh, very odd times for everybody at the moment, and a lot of our clients are actually uh, self-isolating at the minute. We have a lot of older clients, um, and of course they're finding it quite difficult to get out of the house. So what we've done is we started to do live videos for people, and we've started to do assessments over a video format, um, which has actually been really interesting. So we will video someone, uh, we will pick someone up, for example, on Skype, and we will try and assess them over videos. Um, and what we found is that normally clients who don't particularly have shoulder and neck problems are starting to present with shoulder and neck problems. Um, and we found this very interesting. So many of our clients have discussed this. And what we found is that because they've gone from fairly active lives to being isolated in their homes, they've moved to working on a computer almost all the time. So they're doing their work on a computer and then they're going on to chat rooms and socialising on their computers. And what happens if we spend a lot of time on our computer is our shoulders start to round and our heads start to move forward. And, you know, we're getting clients with chest pains, uh, you know, they're breathing in and going, oh, that's really hurting me. Um, and so when we look at them, we see that they are quite rounded in their shoulders. So I've got Sid here, who feels a little bit left out at the moment, because obviously the clinic is relatively quiet right now. Um, so I said he could join the live. I hope you don't mind. He loves it. He's great. So I thought I would use Sid to explain what's been going on. So let's see what we've got. So when you start to work at a desk or, or spend most, the majority of your day at a desk, what happens is these shoulders start to roll forward and they're doing it because you end up in this position for a lot of the day so if you are now working at home and not going into your office you're probably sitting there all day at your computer so what we then get is the shoulders roll forward so the arm rolls forward and eventually the head rolls forward and this is why you get pains through here because these are the muscles that are dragging you forward eventually you'll end up with kind of shoulder pains as well so what can you do about it? Obviously, you are sat at home. You can't get out to us. Um, but there's actually quite a lot that you can do about it. Sorry, I thought, my, I thought my microphone had fallen off. But hopefully not. Hopefully you can hear me. So what you can do is we need to loosen this section. So anyone who's familiar with the way we treat will know that if someone's coming in in this sort of position, we will loosen the front of your shoulder. Now, obviously, that's hard to do in a virtual way. But we can self-massage it. So if you are someone who is sat working now at home, not really getting out, spending all day socialising on a phone or on a computer, try this self-massage technique. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your arm and you're going to put it over, over your head. So it's here in the back. You're going to grab. Now there's a big muscle that sits here. It's literally, it's called your pec muscle, pectoralis muscle. Put your arm over and you grab that muscle. You literally grab it. You should be able to hold the whole muscle in your hand and press it so you're pushing your fingers together. Now, as you push those fingers together, it'll probably feel quite sore. And do you know what? That's a good thing. So keep your hand there. Hold it on there. Don't let it come off and wait for that pain to subside. And then if you can, push even harder. So, you know, keep, keep pushing until it stops hurting anymore and then you can release. And what that will do is it will loosen this muscle and allow your shoulder to drop back. So if you're doing this all day, if you're sat on your computer all day, you know, every couple of hours, just stop, arm over, hold on to that muscle and squeeze it. And that will have the effect that we have in the clinic when we loosen through all your pecs. Okay, so you can do this for yourself. Now, if you're not sure if you're in this position, and again, you're at home. We can obviously have a look at it for you. Send us a video and we'll have a look at it. Or what you can do is just take a photo of yourself from the side or get someone else in your house or use a mirror and take a photo of yourself. If you are straight, you should see, let's see if we got it on Sid, that your head, your ear, your shoulder and your hip should be aligned. And if they're not aligned, they should be in a straight line. 
what you'll probably see is your head is forward and your, sh your, your shoulder is sh forward of your, of your hip. And then you know that you're rounded. It's, it's quite obvious once you look at it. So that's one side of things. Okay, you can loosen this off, but we've got to get everything back, back to where it should be. So there's a really nice simple exercise that you can do to do this. So I'm going to let it go for a moment. Bye bye, Sid. And I'm going to show it to you. All you need is a wall, okay? So anyone can do this. So you're going to stand against the wall. You're going to put your heels against the wall. And you're going to put your back against the wall and your arms against the wall. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is tell the brain where straight is. If it's been here all day, it will think this is straight. This is not straight. We want to tell it this is straight. So we're going to stand heels, bottom, shoulders against the wall. And then with your head, we want to take that back against the wall. So we're trying to retract, retract the head. So you're kind of giving yourself a double chin. So take the head and pull it back. Don't look up to get your head there. Just pull straight back. So that's making this head go like this. And then what we can do is take our hands and turn them out. So we've got feet touching the wall, bottom touching the wall, shoulder touching the wall, chin tucked in, pulled back. We now want our hands back. My palms are not here. I'm opening up. So I want my palms here. And I want to squeeze those shoulder blades together and tuck my tummy button in towards my spine. And I'm going to hold that for kind of, you know, 10, 20 seconds. And you will feel it. You'll feel it pulling and pushing on everything. Um, sorry, I've got cables everywhere. Okay, so what that's going to do is start to strengthen the back line, which is lying here. Okay, so if you're at home and you can't get out, you're going to get weak. It's very, very simple. So you need to do something to keep yourself strong. So this is something that you can do. Shoulders back, hands back. Now, if it gets easy, you know, I'm sure everyone has some beans in the house right now. I'm sure there are tins galore. Grab a tin of beans or a tin of soup and put those in your hands and it will make it harder, make it much harder to do. So we're overloading. So if it gets easy, make it harder. You can also get some bands. We have a few here. If you haven't got any, lots of our clients we give them to, so they've, they've gone home with them. So hopefully they have them. If you haven't, honestly, they are like two or three pounds on Amazon. So perhaps get yourself a little pack for this period. I'm sure they're still delivering. I'm sure you can get it. If not, let us know. If we're local, we'll pop on through the door. But what you can do is take your band. And again, we're going to stand up. It's another good, good way to stay strong, okay? So my palms are down. My shoulders are down, okay? So I'm like, like this, okay? Shoulders are down, palms down. And I'm going to pull, keeping my elbows dead straight, I'm going to pull my band apart. I thought I was broken it there. There we go, straight apart. Now, I'm not doing it up here by my chin. I'm doing it down here by my chest, so just below the chest line, ladies, just below. Okay, I'm gonna pull apart and slowly come back forward. And again, that's gonna overload this, this back line here. Overload this back line here. And that's what we want. We want to get this stronger, because what that will do is start to pull, pull these shoulder blades back together and stop you having that forward hunch. So, you know, there's lots of other things that we are going to do to try and keep you guys strong and keep you guys safe through all this. So, um, we are treating, just so that you know, we do have the clinic open. Um, but obviously, for those who that's not, not possible for, um, what we're going to do is put some Facebook Lives on, do some exercises for you. So, you know, not everybody is at a point that they are strong enough to do gym work. So, there are loads of packages out there right now that you can access if you're young, fit and healthy and effectively able to work in a gym under normal circumstances okay lots of giving lots of free stuff for you guys but we're more concerned with some of our kind of more fragile clients shall I say who are not at that level okay so we're going to do some ball work we're going to do some band work we're going to do stuff that you can do with tins um, because everyone's got tins and they are weights ultimately um, so keep an eye out we're going to be doing regular Facebook lives um, and give you some really practical ways for at the moment to stay strong so you're not getting into pain because we don't want you in pain right now because they are limited access to sort you out with. So I, I hope that's been really useful. Um, please pop some comments in the bottom. Let us know the sort of things that you'd like some advice on. Um, what sort of problems are you finding that perhaps we can help remotely with. Um, and uh, stay safe and stay healthy. And take care. Bye-bye.